the new camera capabilities in Toon Boom Storyboard Pro 3D are really exciting and uh, they make not only dynamic interesting camera moves but they have the ability to really help you stage and visualize a scene really by flying through it with your camera or having free movement. Uh, so let me show you how to manipulate the camera tool and I'm in the camera view which is primarily the view that we want to use in addition to the top and the side view to help us manipulate the camera. I'll click on the camera button to enable the camera tool and you'll see there's a lot of different control points on here and let's just see what they are. The simplest one is when you get this crosshatch and that is the move tool. You can move the camera uh, anywhere that you want to on a 2D plane. We're not moving it in depth right now and you can see that uh, that 3D effect that's happening as you're moving your camera, you're not just panning in 2D space. So I can move that there with that move tool, but I can also come over here to the top and side view and move the camera in the z-axis, uh, which is, is in a sense like, uh, like dollying into the shot. So that really produces an amazing effect. Uh, back on this main camera view, you can also use the uh, scale tool, which in this case, when you drag it toward the center, you are in effect zooming into the scene with all the perspective changes uh, that that entails. And so you can see the multiplane effect, which is really, really beautiful. And you can capture all of these in the storyboard itself, even if you don't do uh, animatic output. You'll see that in the PDF stage, so we'll be able to capture snapshots of those effects. Uh, with this circle, in the middle. The controls here are once again in the center. You've got the move tool, but a couple really exciting effects are the ones that are on the top and the bottom. Are you rotating the camera? In this case, we're going to be rotating it in the x-axis, which will basically be pointing the camera downward and craning, well not craning, but tilting the camera upward and tilting it downward. If I want to move it downward, which is the crane shot, then I'm grabbing that center handle to do that. And for the handles on the sides, I'm going to be rotating the camera in the y-axis, which is different than a pan. A pan, I would just grab it in order to move it from side to side. But again, even the, even the pan in 3D uh, is pretty pretty impressive, pretty startling. So you can use these controls uh, on the top view and side view to give you more precision. Let me grab the Y axis to rotate the camera. I'm doing this all from the top view and I can zoom in and now I can also crane upward and downward and I can tilt along that X axis pointing way up and way down. And there's some uh, you may get some distortion effects, but I'm going to show you how you can avoid that. Let's take a look at how you can easily combine those various camera moves, the uh, zooming and the panning and the rotating. How you can use all those together to create a pretty spectacular effect. So if I want to get a different view of this scene, let's say a different angle of the pirate on the ship, I can zoom in and then I can drop the camera down and then I can rotate the camera over and now I've got a very interesting shot of the pirate. Now I want to show you something very important. You may notice that the pirate is kind of looks flattened out now like he's a uh, paper doll cutout and just to exaggerate this I'm going to zoom in even further and show you that uh, that doesn't really look as nice as I'd like it to. Well there's a totally easy solution and it's found in the layers palette so let's pop back up here if you don't have a layers palette enabled and it wouldn't surprise me if you don't because we haven't had any reason to use it so far I'm just going to add it on there by clicking on the arrow so let me move everything over 
click on the downward arrow and look for a tab that's called Layers. Boom! Pops in with Layers. And now I'm looking for a feature. I'm going to click on the pirate because he's the one I'm concerned with. And look at this feature. It's called Always Face Camera. Now that means that wherever I place the camera, the character or the prop or the 3D model is always going to move with that camera so that it's always facing me. Now I certainly wouldn't want to do this for the sky or for the ship, but for characters uh, it really creates a wonderful effect. So now let's go ahead and do all the zooming that we did before. So now I've collapsed the uh, palette over here so that I've got a lot more room to show off this really cool feature. And uh, here's what we're going to do now. We're going to zoom in just like we did before. I'm going to go way, way up here. I'm going to drop the camera way down. And now I'm going to rotate the camera. And now this time, when we turn around, I'm going to zoom out a bit. This time, when we turn to face our pirate, uh, he doesn't look like a flat doll anymore because he has turned with us. And so now we have a brand new shot. So I'm going to change the perspective of that. And you can see that no matter where I go with this camera, he's always going to be facing the camera. So that's a really great option. Now I'm going to pop back open the side view so we can see the side view and the top view. And I'll just show you how I can do this with uh, the side view is a really convenient way. I'm going to grab this black triangle and I'm going to move the camera way, way over and now rotate it on the y-axis to see that pirate. And look at that, even though I'm all the way behind him, uh, he's still facing the camera. So uh, that is a really great feature when you're doing camera moves. That way you don't have to cons you don't have to constantly reposition uh, your characters.